Hello and welcome to the eighth in a set of tutorials for XFX Toolkit version 2, now with added object tracking. If you haven't got the plugin pack installed, please follow the link below. We're going to move on to the split plugins inside the pack. Let's start off with Zoom Split Analysis and you'll find that under the 80s splits and that's in XFX Toolkit. So let's drag that from the browser and hit play. And immediately you can see it does a split between the original video, which is at the original size on the left here, and a blow up that you can control on the right here. So it's great for analysis. Uh, here we've got a sporting event, you can see. Now we've got the normal controls. We've got a build in and build out. So that's a nice fade between the original video and the split. And you can toggle that off if you want to. So you can just have it coming in as a cut or do your own transition. Let's put that on the front and back and also the fade in times you can control. You can make that uh, quicker or longer. At the moment, it's 15 frames on there. Where it gets interesting is the on screen controls. We've got on screen controls for the left hand side, of the original, but we'll leave those as they are. But we've also got controls for the ones on the right. And that gets more interesting because we can blow this right up. As you can see for analysis. Let's see what's going on in there with the guys touching their heads. So really good for, say, something like sport or forensic or anything where you need to get right in to see the action. Got some controls. You can call these anything you like. Um, we just call them original and blow up. Um, you can tap anything you like in there or indeed turn them off. And we've got a control here for the separator width and color. These controls down here are just replications of the on screen controls. So you can tap in some numbers if you want, um, but I tend to prefer moving it around with the mouse. Really easy to do. Just drop it on the video. And there you go. Variable horizontal split does exactly as the name suggests. It does a split between the footage that is on the timeline and the footage from a drop zone. So let's find some footage from that. We'll go to our browser, click on the title, then click on the drop zone. And let's find something good to go in. There's some mountain biking here that we can drop in and click on apply clip. And that will put the footage into the drop zone. Now, when I play, we get a split, as you can see. And also we've got the build in and build outs that we tend to put on all our plugins. So that does a nice transition between the split and the guy on his mountain bike. And we've got the on-screen controls. We can move this around. We can blow that up. And also, more importantly, this might be the one that you want to alter. You can adjust this for size and even rotate it, should you wish. Now, on here, we've also got the separator, which is fully adjustable. You can move that up and down. So you don't have to do half and half. You could do uh, two thirds and one third. And you can configure that for the width and the color on there. Not that you want a brown, but there you go. And also, as we've said before, we love using the on-screen controls because it's just so visual and you get that instant feedback. But we have put the controls for the on-screen controls down here that you can use should you want to just tap some numbers in to get it actually bang on with the pixels. A really quick way to do a split screen in Final Cut Pro 10, and we like the dissolves in and out um, so you don't have to do kind of like multiple stacks in compound clips to get that. On to the variable vertical split. And if I drop that on the timeline, you'll see it does something very similar to the horizontal split. But this time it does it with a vertical split. So what we'll do is we'll get some more footage into the drop zone. Click on the drop zone, go to my browser. And here we have some more mountain biking. Click apply clip. And straight away, we have the split between the two sets of bikers. Now, you might see that they're slightly off center, and that's OK because we've got the on screen controls. So I can maybe blow this guy up a bit, move him over to the center. And then for this group of bikers, again, we're going to move them over and blow them up on there. And when I hit play, I get a great split between the two. Also, we've got the build in and build out as normal, so we get the nice fade transition. You can, of course, turn that off if you just want to cut, and you can control the fade in and fade out times of those. 
I can move the separator. It doesn't have to be right down the middle. You can have a third and two thirds and move it wherever you like. I can also control the width in the inspector and the color. Should you want to make it anything other than white, it's completely up to you on there. And below that, we have the on-screen controls published in the inspector. So if you want to tap in a number to move it by a precise number, you can do that. Those are duplicated in there, but I tend to move it around with the mouse. A very simple way, as per the horizontal one, of doing a split screen and getting things in the right place. The last one in this section is compare split and what that does is it actually does a comparison between the video on the timeline and whatever is in the drop zone. As you can see here the grey quadrant on the top left is where we're going to put some more video. So let's go to the drop zone and then go to our browser. We have a guy fly fishing that'll do and then apply clip. And there we have the split and I can move this on screen control around to wherever I like. Also, if you want to move the guy over, you can actually flip where this mask happens to all of the quadrants coming up. So you can do maybe a color correction or something like that between the two and compare them on the screen at the same time and in the waveform at the same time. That's it for the splits. In the next video, we'll be looking at the video effects plugins in XFX Toolkit 2.